In recent decades, there has been a dramatic increase in zoonotic diseases, pathogens that jump from animals to humans, leading to significant outbreaks. Every day, millions of animals and plants are illegally traded worldwide, heightening the risk of disease transmission. According to a United Nations Environment Program report, about 40,000 live primates, 4 million live birds, 640,000 live reptiles, and 350 million live tropical fish are estimated to be traded illegally each year. These animals are often kept in unsanitary conditions and can carry bacteria and parasites that spread diseases. COVID-19 highlighted the fragile boundary between human civilization and the natural world, resulting in over 20 million deaths globally and widespread disruption. This pandemic is just one example of zoonotic diseases, which include Ebola in Western Africa and the Zika virus in the Americas. The growing list of zoonotic diseases raises increasing concerns about their potential to cause global disruption. We have not forgotten the horrors of the COVID-19 pandemic and the widespread impact it had on society, the economy, public health, and individual lives as the world continues to recover. Another emerging threat is the spread of mpox, commonly known as monkeypox. The World Health Organization has declared a global public health emergency due to an outbreak of a new strain of the mpox virus in Africa. This highly infectious disease has been categorized as a public health emergency of international concern by the WHO monkeypox, which can be transmitted through close contact causes flu-like symptoms and lesions on the body, and can be deadly. Originally a rare viral disease limited to the forests of Central and Western Africa, monkeypox has experienced a resurgence. In 2024, cases have begun appearing in countries where it had not been reported before, spreading across continents at an alarming rate. If you're finding this information valuable so far, subscribe to keep up with important updates on our channel. On August 14, 2024, the World Health Organization declared monkeypox a public health emergency of international concern. This decision followed an outbreak of a new variant of the mpox virus in Africa, which is spreading rapidly. The WHO has convened an emergency committee under the international health regulations to assess the situation in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and other affected African countries due to a significant increase in cases, particularly in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and neighboring regions. The resurgence of the virus has resulted in more than 500 deaths in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, with children under 15 years old accounting for about 66% of the total cases and over 80% of the deaths. The Status of Public Health Emergency of International Concern, as defined by the International Health Regulations 2005, signifies that this outbreak poses a public health risk to other countries through international spread, potentially requiring a coordinated global response. Since 2005, the World Health Organization has made eight such declarations. The most recent was for MPOX in 2022, and the one before that was due to the COVID. COVID-19 pandemic. The virus has already spread to countries outside the African region, including Thailand, Sweden, Pakistan, and the Philippines, and it has the potential to develop into a global pandemic, significantly impacting global health. The virus was first discovered in monkeys used for research in Denmark in 1958, and it was identified in humans for the first time in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in a nine-month-old baby. Since the global end of smallpox vaccinations in the 1980s, the prevalence of mpox in humans has increased significantly, especially in parts of Africa. The virus became a global concern in 2022 when it caused outbreaks beyond Africa, including 30 cases in India. The mpox virus is classified into two types, clade 1, originating in Central Africa, and clade 2, originating in Western Africa. In 2024, after detecting a new variant, clade 1 was further divided into clades 1A and 1B, and clade 2 into clades 2A and 2B. 
The current 2024 outbreak is being driven by Clade 1B, which is more deadly and spreads faster than the Clade 2 variant that was prevalent in 2022. This new variant has reached new regions including Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, Burundi, Thailand, and Sweden. Mpox is mainly transmitted from animals like rodents and primates to humans through direct contact or contaminated objects. Human-to-human -human transmission occurs through direct contact, bodily fluids, face-to-face -face interaction, lesions, and indirect contact with contaminated bedding or clothing. Initial symptoms of monkeypox are common and include fever, muscle pain, sore throat, headache, swollen lymph nodes, and fatigue, followed by an itchy and painful rash. Not everyone will exhibit all symptoms, and the incubation period ranges from 1 to 11 days, with some cases taking up to 4 weeks. The rash typically starts as flat spots that develop into fluid-filled bumps, eventually bursting and crusting over within about 10 days. The virus poses a higher risk for severe cases in children, pregnant women, the elderly, and individuals with compromised immune systems. Diagnosis is primarily done using a PCR test on lesions, similar to those used during the COVID-19 pandemic. So guys, if you have any question in mind up to this point, do ask in the comment section below. Coming back to the video, most Mpox cases show mild symptoms, with recovery typically occurring within two to four weeks, though no specific treatment exists. Several antivirals are approved for severe cases, and hospitalization is recommended for those with severe symptoms, with symptomatic treatment tailored for complications such as proctitis and pruritus. The potential for global spread remains significant if rapid vaccination campaigns, especially in affected regions of Africa, are not implemented. Mpox serves as a reminder of the persistent threat of zoonotic diseases in a highly interconnected world, emphasizing the need for global preparedness to prevent future pandemics akin to COVID-19. A report from the Global Health Security Index reveals that approximately 75% of countries are vulnerable to future pandemics due to poorly prepared health systems, underfunding, and weak global cooperation. To tackle these threats, the global community must prioritize research into zoonotic diseases, strengthen public health infrastructure, and foster international collaboration to ensure preparedness against future outbreaks. The World Health Organization warns that another pandemic like COVID-19 could cost the world upwards of $100 billion, emphasizing the urgent need for action. Monkeypox, while a health crisis, also serves as a wake-up call to address broader social and environmental factors such as climate change, deforestation, and wildlife extinction, which contribute to the rise of zoonotic diseases. Combating these issues is crucial to mitigating the spread and impact of such diseases on global health. As we continue to face the ongoing challenges posed by emerging viruses like Mpox, it's crucial to stay informed and prepared. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell to stay ahead and help us spread awareness. Together, we can keep our communities safe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.